You can't do that, neighbor. You can't walk into my house. He cheated. He cheated. Okay, well, technically, I walk into his house all the time. Technically, he didn't cheat. But that is scary. <laughs> what? What's up, it says going today? Zach Blake here. Today, we are going to be playing Hello Neighbor, but in a different way. Um, I have something special. Back over a year ago, um, even like way long ago, um, I played this game, this little game called Hello Neighbor. And now, when I first played the game, I had 30,000 subscribers. I emailed the developers of Hello Neighbor uh, way back in the day. I said, hey, your game looks cool. Can you send me um, a link to the pre-alpha? And so to put it into perspective, right now, I am in the, the first version of the game. There's, there's different like little updates, but the first version. So there's an alpha. That's where a game starts. So it's an alpha, it goes to a beta, and then it goes to release. Um, what most people played back in the day was beta, because there was a lot of beta iterations. And so I'm looking at a wall to not spoil anything right now, because I'm going to be turning around and showing you. So right now, I am playing the first version of Hello Neighbor ever. So to explain a little bit more, um, alpha, yeah, is what the first that comes out. Alpha comes out? And then a lot of iterations of that comes out, and then beta comes out, a lot of iterations, and then the game comes out. And then, so, the, basically, I'm playing the pre-alpha. This was before the alpha was even out, I had this version. And so, on my channel, if you go way back in the day, I was playing this version. And then, as you can see, it looks very different. The house is very small. This is the first ever version of Hello Neighbor when they were coming uh like out with it. And now there's like there was little test versions before this one, but they were only developer versions, meaning that like what they showed off at E3 was different than this because they had, you know, kind of a different idea of what to do with it. So, this is the first version. I'm excited to go back to it because it's kind of nostalgic. Um you can see how much they pretty much changed with this. Um you can see that they focus more um like, kind of on these two houses, obviously, and then the rest of the world is kind of not developed. In the real game, you could see, like, a school off in the distance over there. There's, like, a church over there. It's kind of loud um, and full of crickets in this one. And it's kind of different when it comes to um, the sounds in this game. You're going to see it in a second, but they tried to focus a little bit too much on scariness. So, buckle down. We're going to try to play this game in our own unique way so it's not scary. <coughs> All right, so to begin, um, the whole point of Hello Neighbor in the beginning was kind of getting this whole scary feel of breaking into the house, and we're playing the first version. So I remember playing this first time ever, and I was like, what is this game? This game is, is really unique, and they obviously focused on being scary, and I, as you can see, um, you're supposed to walk up to that door and you get jump scared, and I just did it again, but... As you can see, there was like this whole um, unique feel to the game back in the day. Um, there was a lot of more focus on like strategy. Now you could do, you could ring the doorbell and hide right here. And I remember he would used to check out the door. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Well, he saw us right away. Jeez. Nope. Nope. No running. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. So uh, <laughs> then, one thing is that's interesting about this version. Is that, um, so day and night cycles change like normal. They got different flowers. Um, obviously different house. This is the pre-alpha house. I remember playing this version, and there's a lot of, like, cool stuff. And back in the day, I used to play this game, um, kind of for the purpose of the game. But, you know me, Dak Blake, I like to play the game differently. I started adding stuff, and I was like, Hey, neighbor, what you watching? Can I watch some TV with you? It looks like your TV's broken. I'm the mechanic. Hold on. Wait, can I, I can't pick, oh. It's F to pick up in this version. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was really weird. Hey, dude. Oh, I forgot he also throws... He throws things at us. Oh, man. I forgot he throws his traps at us. This version is so weird. Okay, so yeah, I forgot. He throws his traps at us instead of glue. Um, but yeah, I'm the mechanic, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, can I break out? No. Nope. I, I can't break out. This version is much harder. Um, but eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the nightmare sequence. If you get caught too many times, he shows up in your nightmares. I love this version. It's so nostalgic. Um, I remember coming back here. I remember- oh, oh yeah, I forgot. There's big old invisible walls. Um, back here there was a bunch of boxes. Yes. This. 
was the cool thing back in the day because it was all about just sneaking through and finding like cool new paths and the, the whole game was um kind of focused on building those paths for you um or not building those paths but building the ai so that it would remember what you did and now they do he does that but they kind of like took away the focus they kind of made it more story based and i like that um but yeah i remember there were so many tricks to this game okay so we're in the house this is much scarier for some reason okay um oh this brings back so many feelings jeez this version is so much scarier there's just so many more noises i don't know where he is he i don't know the patterns like i used to and can i break the oh no i dropped my hammer on the other side can i pick it back up okay thank you um one of these paintings um has something behind it i think um i think he's gonna hear me by dropping those paintings um but yeah he changes up these things too so that wasn't there before um i mean it, it was it's always starts off that way but like he changes that up sometimes and i remember this is the first version that i ever like the, i basically came up with the idea of instead of playing this game normally i was like what if i just steal everything from his house that's how everything started okay here he goes he's moving he's moving look at these Oh, jeez, my painting is going... I made a loud noise! No! No! Oh, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. He doesn't see me? Oh, he sees me! He's just... He's, he's going through everything! He's going through everything! <laughs> oh, man! Okay, as you can see, so this is intense. So, yeah, like I said, this is the first version of the game. So, they had to work out a bunch of glitches. I remember there was a bunch of things involving getting to the roof of the house... Because, um, I know there was, like, some secret around to it. I don't think there actually is anything up there. But I remember as they started releasing the alpha and the beta, um, everything started to come through. Um, yeah. And as you can see, there's kind of a weird feeling to the neighbor. Um, before, he was kind of more like, I'm gonna do things around my house. And then you break in and then he catches you. Um, in the newer version, he's more like, I'm gonna explore my house. And there's so many things to it. So, because this looks like a normal house. The Hello Neighbor we know has, like, trains going around his house. He's got, like, giant birds standing, boxes everywhere. So this is, like, a normal, like, neighbor. And that's why it was so scary, because you had to figure out ways to break inside. I remember this was, like, the coolest thing to do is that you can take this, break that, put that there. Um, he, yeah, yeah, he runs out. Then I can break in. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! No, no, no! Oh, jeez! No, 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 no! Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run. Alright, we're just gonna lock the doors here for a second! Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, he is so much more fast! Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is the first version ever. I don't even remember if they had the nightmare sequence because we've gotten caught quite a lot and we haven't gotten it yet. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go run at him right now and see what happens. Hey, neighbor! Uh, there's somebody outside, and it's me! Alright, let's get caught again. Is this... Is this not it? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is not the, uh, the thing. I'm gonna go inside and steal his TV real quick. Hold on. Because that thing is annoying. Oh, he locked it. Oh, his tomatoes also make the whole screen impossible to see. Wait, wait! He's chasing me all the way to my house! What?! Okay, so this is the nightmare sequence, guys. The thing I was talking about. This is what scared me when I first played the game. I was like, oh... Hey! <laughs> oh man, I remember this so clearly. It's so nostalgic just to see how far this game has come. But yeah, wow. Your arm, dude, what happened? Okay, the whole beginning to playing games differently. That's how I like, you know, playing games differently using my imagination all started with this game. The whole, the whole thing was I wanted to steal everything from the neighbor's house. Like I said before earlier, I stole everything from the neighbor's house and put it in my house. And the cool thing about at least uh, this version um, was that it was possible. I'm going to take this TV. Hold on. I am not good at this version right now. Let me out. 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 Okay. So we could run back to our house, right? Hey, um, neighbor, do you want your TV back? <laughs> Look at how he runs at us. Okay, hold on. We got to close the door. Wait, is he at our front door? Where is he? Oh, no, 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 he ran back. Um, hey, how far does he run? How close do we, do we, does he get us? 
Oh, jeez, he comes right up to the door. This version was actually really scary. There was no running from him. Oh, he got your TV, dude. Ah, they got my TV. I'll get his life. That's a little far, dude. It's just a TV here. Do you want it back? Do you want it back here? Take your TV. Take your TV. I'm sorry. What do you want? Do you want? You threw a tomato in my face. I'm just standing in my own house. Okay, you can stop with the tomato throwing, dude. Are you done? Are you done throwing tomatoes? Because I just wanted to talk to you for a quick second. I mean, ow! My head! That hurt! Okay, I'm closing the door. Ow! 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 I can't get out of that. Ow. He's just staying by my house now! Dude! What are you doing? Get out of here! Go back home! Take your TV! So as you can see, this pre-alpha version was very bro broken. Hey, you're running now. All right, it was very broken, but it was very funny and unique, and that's why I love this game. There's just so many cool things that we can do, and it sparked a whole way of playing games differently, you know? That old thing, the playing games differently thing, and so he's, he's just running through his fence. Um, oh wait, I got caught by my own- No, 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 I didn't mean to do that! Let me back inside- <gasps> HE WALKED INTO MY HOUSE! You can't do that, neighbor! You can't walk into my house! He cheated! He cheated! Okay, well technically, I walk into his house all the time. Technically, he didn't cheat, but that is scary. <laughs> what? What was that? What? What? That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My heart. There are tears in my eyes. I have never been more scared in my life. He flew at me from his house. Oh my gosh. So, there are some game-breaking bugs in this, and I'm excited! This is so cool! Okay, well, he's just so mad at us because we took his TV! Take your TV back! I don't want it! Take your TV! I don't- Get out of my house! Leave me alone, dude! This is a much scarier game! Ah! Take- Okay, here, take your TV back. I'll, I will take it back for you, okay? Please, just leave my- Can I- Can I- Oh, man. Oh! Ah, he just does not stop! He's just so mad at here. Look, look, look. I'm sorry, dude. I'll take back your TV. Here, take it back. I don't want it anymore. All right? Take your TV back. As you can see, um, it is night now. Uh, we are in the scariest version of Hello Neighbor, apparently, because <laughs> there are no, like, boundaries for what he can't do right now. Where, uh, what is going on? Ah, he's breaking his windows just to break them at this point. Okay, if I, if I stand behind my car, am I safe? No? Oh, gee, what? Oh, he does not stop. My heart, playing this version of the game, is just, it, it, it's so much scarier. I don't know why he's mad at me all the time. Can I hit him in this version? Oh, wait, there was no hitting in this game yet. I'm gonna throw this at you. Where are you? Ugh. Nope, there was, there's no hitting him. He just runs right after you. So yeah, the AI in this game is not as advanced. Um, as the newer one where you can hit him, you can you know, get away from him. Um, this one is more like, if I see you, I am chasing you. The thing is about this game, um, is that it, it, it develops these paths for where it can find you. And right now, his AI, in his mind, he wrote down, I found where the, I found where the player is. He is in his own house. Let's get him. Like, I'm, I'm hiding behind my bed right now. I shouldn't be scared in my own house. Can I go to bed? Yes, I, you, the thing is that you can keep going to sleep in this game until you get it to, like, I remember it would be nighttime and I'd be like, no, 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 I'm not going in that house at night. And then I'd wait until it was, like, morning, and I was like, there we go. Now we can go into his house. First, we're going to ring the doorbell. Okay, ring the doorbell. We're going to run, I think, right here. Then we take these two, and we run this way. And then, right Oh, this is so much harder. Oh, everything's on the ceiling. I forgot about that one. All right, so now we should be good. He shouldn't know where we are. We'll break this one. We'll take that back. He'll run there. We'll jump into here. Okay. We'll hide in here. We are literally... We have a box hanging outside of the closet right now. But we are, we are doing fine. So we got the crowbar that we needed. I remember doing this version so many times. So it's kind of like I don't... It doesn't really matter to me. If I finish it, but I know that I can. Um, he keeps watching TV so much. We need to distract him. So first, we'll break this. And then we'll break this. Okay, okay. 
and then we run up. Oh boy! Okay, so yeah, he saw us, and there's no running for me. The only way to get away from him is to run all the way into this room and then go to sleep. Okay, so I remembered the only way to beat this game, right? Is you had to restart, and if you ever got caught by him. Oh wait, I forgot. This is the first day. So if you ever got caught by him, um, you needed to restart the game so that you can reset your pathing. So he kind of forgets everything he knows. So you walk over here and you go like, I know that he's going to be right here. So watch. You just stand right here. You turn around. He goes, boom, right there. There he is. He comes out of nowhere. So then right now you have a clean slate. You know what to do and where to go because he does not right now. He's trying to figure out what you know. And this is how this first version of the game worked. And so um, there's different areas for everything. But we know where the crowbar is. We know where he's going to be because we can see him. And the first version, the door is unlocked. Or in the first time you get caught. So he's right there right now, right? So what we want to do is we want to ring the doorbell. And we want to not get caught by him. Now, we could easily get caught right now. I don't know where he's going to go. Is he going back to watching TV? Okay. So now what we can do is that we can go over here. Place that down. We have an open front door. We have a hammer. And now here is where it gets scary. Because we don't know if he's walking around right now. But if he's right in the living room. Yeah, there he is. So we have to just wait until basically he gets out of there. Um, and that is the perfect time to unlock this. I don't think... Does it not open? Oh, wait. We were opening it. I forgot. In this version, the lever just doesn't show. Okay, so I, I'm trying to be quiet. I don't know why I'm trying to be quiet. Like, I, like he's going to hear me. But this is like the most intense version because you really had to focus. It's not like puzzle solving. It was like stealth missioning it. Okay, so I think he walked over there. Oh, you're right there, dude. Whoa. Why are you staying and watching nothing on TV all day? Dude, move. Yes. see us okay well now we'll just use this hammer i think oh no is it crowbar we remove that and now we just need this oh my gosh pick it up um i don't know if that's what it's for but it feels like that lock pick is what it's for but um basically that's all you do and you would unlock that lock and then get the code from one of the paintings and one of the paintings was like over here. I feel like he sets it up after a while. But yeah, I mean, that was the whole version of this game was pretty much getting to the basement. He would just sneak in inside the neighbor's house, walking right behind him. He won't suspect that. Th okay, we kind of got a little too close. I remember I used to play this and I used to literally just walk behind, behind him and walk into his house. But you got to keep your distance a little bit. But he like doesn't see you when you're crouched. That was like the whole thing, the problem back then. So look, I'm this far. I just got to keep that far. Look at that. Boop. 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 I can even open up a door. No, I cannot. All right. So I think, I think we kind of get the point of this whole version. It was a little bit, you know, basic. But you saw how, like, there were similarities to the final version. And it is really nice to see how this turned out. Before, it was literally just a sneak game to figure out, you know, what's going on in the neighbor's house. But then it elaborated to, like, the neighbor had, got, was, had his wife in a car accident. You know, he, like, lost his family. He had a son and a daughter. You know, it kind of branched out. And there was this whole shadow monster thing. There were puzzles of his childhood, his life. Everything started to explode into some awesomeness. We kind of played the game in a different way. You know, we went a different route of it. Like, instead of solving the puzzles, we were like, let's see if we can, uh, you know, eat all of his food. And look, right now he's working on his car. Hey, neighbor, how's it going? I'm just going to walk right inside. Uh, don't worry about me. I remember that used to be a thing that used to... Hey, and we got a key. Is this a key? Just hanging up. Okay. Can I unlock this? Oh, wait, hold on. Ugh. How, how do I unlock things? It's not... Oh, you had to hold it down. That's what you had to do the whole time. And there we go. We've, we've basically unlocked everything in this whole thing. Uh, we could have used the lockpick. I forgot that we could have done that. Um, but yeah, this whole version was just really nice. All right, so all we need to do to kind of finish off everything is we'll break into the house real quick. We'll go over here. We'll run away from him. And we'll hide. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because he is kind of very alert right now. But we go over here and do 4785. We go 4785. And there we go. We walk inside. 
and that would be the end of the game, but it nothing happens. As you can see, we are inside the basement. Boop. And that would be the end of the game. That was the pre-alpha, and we just solved it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I made you laugh today. We got to use our imaginations a little bit. You know, you know, make, making them talk a little bit and kind of walking around. But it's cool to go back and just see how it all started. I'm excited to just see the future, because I think there's going to be Secret Neighbor soon. I know there's going to be a Hello Neighbor 2 eventually. And I'm excited to just play some new games. Um, if you haven't already seen the last video, it was, it was with Angry Neighbor, which is kind of... You know, weird to see the similarities and the differences between that game and this game. So, you should go check that out. I hope I made you smile today and cheered you up. If you're ever feeling bad, I hope you could just type in Dak Blake. We can hang out, play some video games, and I can make you smile. So, thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, click the notification bell to become part of the notification squad. And, as always, peace out, my dudes.